Wes talks about setbacks. What is a setback? Injury, bad call, being cut from the team, maybe a broken relationship. You know, to God, there is no such thing as a setback. Why? Because of Romans 8, 28 and 29. It reminds us that God causes all things, works them up for good so that they can conform us to the image of Jesus Christ. It's a training regime. As Christian athletes, our role is to allow God to train us with the tough times of life to make us like Christ. So let's don't fight God. He is a great coach. He knows what he's doing. In the next drill, I'm going to play God. In other words, I'm going to set up the circumstances during this relay race that handicap some of the athletes, give benefits to other athletes. I'm going to control who I want to win and to lose only to show that God, in His sovereignty, decides what He wants to happen. And it all turns out according to His purpose and will and for our benefit to conform us to the image of Jesus Christ. Go! Come on, come on, come on, get there, get there, get there. Come on now, come on, come on, come on, get there. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go. All the way, finish it off, let's go. Come on, baby, let's go, go, go. Come on now, go. Come on now, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's go, come on, baby, come on, come on. That's it, come on, come on, yeah. Uh-oh, you're in trouble now. You guys are in trouble now. Woo! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Get it up, get it up, get it up. Here we go, here we go. Get it up, get it up, get it up, get it up. Come on now, go, go, come on, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Watch me the whole way, here we go. Come on, come on, come on. That's it, good job, here we go, here we go. Go, 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 that's it, here we go. Come on. Here's your focus now, let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's go, baby, let's go. Is this it? Nope. Huh. Come on now, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Hey, hey, you're not looking, you're not looking. I'm going to dock you. Come. Here we go, here we go. Let's go, Nate. Is this it? Ah! Come on, baby. What we got? 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 <laughs> All right. Woo! Get it going. Come on over to the side. Here we go. Let's go. Nope, you're going to watch. You're going to watch. All right, here we go. We got 40 and back, 30 and back, 20 and back, 10 and back. Yep, to the yellow line. Set, go! Total release on Christ. Focus on Christ alone. Christ alone. Focus on Christ alone. Attaway, Brex. Total release. What's your mind on? What are you thinking about? What you thinking about? What's your conscious thinking now, right now? What's your conscious thinking? Here we go. Come on. Go. Keep it going. Come on. 30. Attaboy, Rex. Attaboy, baby. Come on. Be a leader. That's it. Be a leader. You be a leader. Let's go. Come on. Set the example. Set the example. Set the example of what a total release is. Set the example of what a total release is. Come on now, baby. Set the example of what a total release is. That's it. There we go. Good, good. There we go. Good job. That's it. Come on now. Nice job, fellas. Good job. That's it, baby. Good, good. That it. Good. Good job. Good job. Come on. Finish it. Come on now. Come on. Everything you got. Here we go. That was not equal opportunity, was it? I shafted. I shafted the team that had to run. Just flat shafted you. You got hosed. You know that? You got hosed. You're looking at me. You know it, don't you? You got hosed, didn't you? <laughs> you got hosed. You know what? That's exactly what a lot of athletes do with the official. You know, Wes Neal talked about the 1985 World Series this morning, about that empire who blew the call. And the Cardinals, man, all they could think about, we got hosed. Man, that guy cost us. And you know what? It was very easy to think, that's not fair. He had more of us have to run on one leg. And those guys had smaller guys on their team to begin with. That's stacking the odds against you. And you know what? There's a lot of people who think that God has hosed them. There's a whole bunch of people who think God is hosing them. You get an injury. You get benched. 
You lose a game that you thought you should win. An official get, makes a horrible call in a, in a huge portion of the game. Something happens uh, that you just couldn't expect. Imagining some freakish thing happens and we shake our fist at God and we get bitter and angry at everything. And, I, and that drill was designed to show you that the creator of the universe, which who I'm not, I was just representing him in that case. The creator of the universe has the right to do whatever he wants to do to bring about his glory. He has the right. Now there was something that you guys who had to run got that the other guys didn't get. get. Can anybody tell me what that was? What's that? Conditioning. Conditioning. Hello. They think they got off the hook. But really, ultimately, you guys got to exercise not only your physical conditioning, but you had an opportunity to glorify the Lord Jesus Christ under trial, and you had the opportunity to more represent Christ because of the hardship that you had to go through. Now, we don't often look at it that way because we tend to be creatures of pleasure instead of pain. But it's pain and it's trial that moves us into the character of Christ, okay? All right, we're gonna work on isolation right now. But before I do that, I wanna ask you, somebody be honest with me, okay? When you saw me handicapping one team over the other, what do you think we got there? Anybody feel like, man, Coach Brown was not real fair here? Can, can anybody be honest about that? Say, that wasn't real fair. Anybody think that way? You just took what you got? Great attitude in Christ? Will you make a promise to me? Will you t take that same attitude throughout the season? When you get a bad call, the coach makes a decision you don't like, when you go through drills that you, that you hate, when it seems like it's not fair, you, you, you thought that you should be the starter and coach chose somebody else, would you take that same attitude you just took? Because that's really what we're trying to bring out here. All right? There is no such thing as a setback for the Christian athlete. God has everything under control. Romans 8, 28 and 29 have to go together. God would use even hard things in our life, good things, bad things, ugly things, to bring us to a point of becoming more like Jesus Christ, which is his ultimate purpose. So let's don't fight God. Allow him to have full sovereignty in your life. Don't get upset about injuries and being cut from a team or being reprimanded by the coach or being booed. And, and don't get out of whack when you have great things that happen to you on the field as well. Remember that God uses all of these things and they may vary in a variety of ways to make you like Christ, which is the goal that he always has in mind for you. Cooperate with God in reaching that goal.